Hey everyone, this is Paul Vila with the Proteus Academy and it is Medium for Monday and today I'm here to talk to you about flowing using spreadsheets and how I personally ended up flowing for my senior year and I've always flown as a judge and I've noticed many judges choose to do it in this way. Uh, before we get into that, in terms of things you'll need, You'll either need Microsoft Excel or you'll need Google Sheets or you'll just need some kind of program that can use spreadsheets and can read spreadsheets and can edit spreadsheets and also can accept different templates. And you can see the template I personally use here, which is the Parley Flow template. I will try to link that in some way in this video or maybe just message us on Reddit uh, if you know our usernames or whatever, and uh, we'll try and get that to you. But we'll figure out something. You can usually just look this up and find it out there. A lot of people have this template. But before we get into how I actually use it, I want to go over the three reasons I think it's important to use Excel if you are allowed to. And it's also important to know that various leagues and various events don't let you use computers flow and as a result maybe this video wasn't for you. The first reason that I think you should use a spreadsheet is because it gives you a consistency in terms of how you flow. Because the typing is always going to be the same and it's going to have that same kind of font, you're able to have a flow that is consistently readable, that stays within columns where the arguments sort of match up with each other and you'll sort of see that as a feature as we go forward. Secondarily, I think it's really important for record keeping. I myself probably have 300 or 400 flows at this point saved up from over the years that are all in Excel and that basically anyone could read, uh, which is going to be good for point three, which is... I think it's really important for scouting. Uh, I'm sure we've all had the experience where we have one of our teams go and watch one of the good teams at the tournament or just someone who's reading something specific and we want them to go flow the round, but they come back and have terrible handwriting. And now the only thing you can do is recommend that they watch our Two Minute Tuesday on handwriting and why it's so important. With that said, I want to jump into the specific flow that I use and how I go about it. So. As you can see here, there's various columns in this flow and they have titles. Uh, the titles refer to the names of the speeches in parliamentary debate specifically, which is the PMC being the Prime Minister's Constructive, Leader of Opposition's Constructive, Member of Government, and so on and so forth. And this, as you can tell, is just one tab. Uh, I'm clicking through these six tabs that I have available to me, and you can make more if you need them to. And more importantly, this is an affirmative tab, right? Because it starts with the first affirmative speech, whereas over here, we get into the first negative speech being on this side. As a note to those of you who do public forum, this is something you might not be aware of because you potentially don't do other formats of debate, but in other formats, people tend to flow every position in the debate, i.e. contention one, contention two, contention three, on a separate sheet of paper, and that is how this is set up, as opposed to public forum, where a lot of people just flow on two sheets or one sheet, and there's just basically two big columns. That's not how I would prefer to do it even in public forum, but more power to you if you want to do that. That still works. You can just use one tab and one tab and call it a day. So cool things about this specific template, I like that you can rename the tabs, which maybe you can do in all of them, but for me it always works easily. Uh, and this one, let's just call it Advantage 1, and Advantage 1 is going to be Dogs. And now when I go through here, I'm like, oh cool, I gotta go to the dogs, right? And I can shuffle these around if later on in the speech I decide that that's gonna be uh, in a different order than it otherwise would be. In terms of typing into the Excel sheet, it's also gonna be pretty simple, right? You just put whatever you want. And so for instance, I'll usually title them at the top and I'll be like, add one, dogs. And then I'll start doing the uniqueness stuff and I'll do first argument is X, Y, Z. And I'm just typing here, uh, just typing here to show that the column and the rows, the rows will expand. I'm not a great typer, I apologize. Anyway, but what I wanted to show you here is that you'll notice that the argument next to this now has expanded to the same size. Even if I were to just write, I hate dogs. Uh, it still stays in that same size, which allows you to have some level of consistency. I would generally recommend pressing space a few times after you enter an argument, which will then let you move down further to create these nice clean lines. And personally, I also think that, uh, depending on your format, it's a good idea to be able to organize some later speeches in these columns. I personally, if I was doing something like public forum, would use these columns that I'm not going to need, the two we are, all that kind of stuff, uh, to write in just like, here's what I think is going to matter later on in this debate, or to pre-flow what I'm going to say in the arguments as we go through them later. So. That's kind of it for spreadsheets. It's actually a pretty short video for Medium Form Monday, but I just wanted to expose you to how spreadsheets can be used and why they're potentially effective tool for you if you're planning on flowing and if you're allowed to use them. Uh, once again, I'm Paul Villa, and thanks for checking out the Proteus Academy.